I'm gonna show you one of the easiest summer desserts and you can use just about any fruit on this. Check this out. It's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com and that was my adorable little assistant. Seriously though, you can put just about any fruit in this, whether it's cherries or apricots, strawberries, blueberries. It is so versatile and I'm totally craving this, so let's get started. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel and when you do, click that little bell icon so you'll get notifications every time we post a new recipe. Also, we're playing a game. Let me know if you can spot Sharky somewhere in this video. I think we've gotten him hidden pretty well. <laughs> All right, let's get started. <laughs> because the dough needs time to chill, we're gonna make that first. You can either use a food processor or just a mixing bowl. When making this in the food processor, combine one and a third cups of flour, a tablespoon of sugar, and half a teaspoon of salt. Pulse those together. Now we're gonna add eight tablespoons of very cold, unsalted butter. You wanna dice that butter up into about half inch cubes, then add it to the bowl of your food processor. Pulse that about eight to 10 times until you see pea-sized pieces of butter. Once you see those coarse crumbles, start adding your ice water. The goal is to keep the mixture cold, so I literally have a cup full of water and ice cubes. Add a little bit of water at a time, and I used a total of six tablespoons of ice water. Pulse between each addition of ice water and just continue pulsing until the dough starts to clump together. That's when you know it's ready. Another way to test is if you turn off the food processor and clump the dough together between your fingertips, it should stay together. Now you can absolutely make this in a mixing bowl using a pastry cutter. Cut the butter into the dry ingredients until pea-sized crumbs form, then add your ice water the same way using a spatula to mix it in, and continue adding it until you can press the dough together between your fingertips, and it starts to form into a dough. Dump that out onto a clean work surface and knead it together gently to form a disc. I find my bench scraper to be very helpful in this process to kind of pull the dough together. This is one of my favorite kitchen tools and I will link to it in the notes. You don't wanna overwork the dough, just pat it into a disc, then cover with plastic wrap and refrigerate for at least an hour or up to three days. That's right, it's a make ahead recipe. And of course, I have one here that I made earlier that's chilled and ready to go. At this point, you'll wanna preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Transfer the dough to a floured sheet of parchment paper and add a little sprinkle of flour on top just to keep the rolling pin from sticking to the dough. <laughs> Roll that out into a 12 inch diameter circle and it doesn't have to be a perfect circle. All right, once we have that rolled out, we're gonna slide it with the parchment paper onto a baking sheet. Refrigerate the dough while you're making your filling. It's super important to keep the dough cold so that the butter doesn't ooze out while it's baking. Now the peach filling is easy peasy. In a small mixing bowl, combine 1 4th cup of sugar, a tablespoon of flour, and half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Whisk that together until it's combined. Now you'll love that you don't even have to peel the peaches. You'll need 3 to 4 medium peaches, or about 1 pound. Cut the peach in half to remove the pit, then slice the peach into half inch thick slices. You'll wanna use peaches that are ripe, but not too squishy, and sweet summer peaches are the best for a peach galette. Add those sliced peaches to a mixing bowl and top them with that sugar flour mixture that we made earlier. Also add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and stir that together until the flour is incorporated and it starts to look a little syrupy. Now our filling is done and we're gonna make our egg wash real quick. 
Just beat together one large egg and that's it. We wanna have everything prepped and ready to go, keeping our pastry dough in the refrigerator for as long as possible. All right, pull that pastry dough out of the fridge. It should feel nice and cool at this point. And we're gonna arrange the peaches over the dough. I like to arrange the peaches in circles, working from the outside in, and make sure you leave a two inch border of dough. You'll need to overlap those peaches to fit as many as you can. Also, if you see a lot of peach juices at the bottom of the bowl, you're gonna wanna discard that, otherwise your galette might overflow. You can also just dump the peaches into the center and spread them around evenly, but I think it looks so pretty to arrange them in rings like this. Once all of the peaches are on, we're gonna rinse our hands real quick and use that parchment paper to help you fold the dough flaps in over the peaches. Pinch the overlapping edges together to form a nice seal and if you see the dough break anywhere, try to patch it up. This will help keep the juices from oozing out, however, sometimes they will inevitably ooze out and that's not such a bad thing. That's part of why we have that parchment paper to catch any leaks and make cleanup easier. Now generously brush the edges of the pastry with that egg wash that we made earlier. The egg wash will help your crust form a beautiful golden brown color in the oven. Last but not least, sprinkle some coarse sugar over the top of your galette. Now dot the top of the peaches with half a tablespoon of unsalted butter and bake in the center of your preheated oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 to 30 minutes or until the crust is golden brown and the peach juices are syrupy. <laughs> I am so excited. And my kitchen smells so good, like a bakery. Oh, but this tastes so good. And it, you wanna let it rest like 10 to 15 minutes once it comes out of the oven, just to give those juicy, bubbly juices a chance to set at least a little bit. And you also don't wanna burn your mouth. But as soon as it's cool enough to eat, slice it up and enjoy. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, because I'm not patient enough. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna go for it. Take a look at this. All right, here we go. The moment I've been waiting for. Oh, and look at that center. It really is like everything we love about peach pie, but it's so much easier. A galette is really the easiest kind of pie, okay? Here we go. Get a big slice of that. Okay, and oh, I do love to serve this with ice cream, so I'm gonna have my Chef assistant, come out here and give us some of our favorite vanilla ice cream. <laughs> All right, how many scoops for you? Look at that, look how pretty that is. Are you excited? Mmm. Mm. <laughs> okay, here we go, let's, let's get one big one. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, one big beautiful scoop of vanilla bean ice cream. I love the little flecks of vanilla bean in there. All right, here we go. Let's scoot that over just a little bit. Okay, and it's nice if you can get it onto the galette while it's still a little bit warm so that it kind of melts over the peaches. Oh, it's such a treat. Here we go. I love this in the summer with a scoop of ice cream. It's the best. Okay, who's excited? <laughs> she looks excited. Okay, we're gonna dive right into this here. I'm gonna give you the first bite, okay? I'm eating all the peaches first. You want all the peaches first? Okay, so let's get you a peach and some ice cream. A Little bit of everything. Okay, here we go. Okay, it's a big bite. Hopefully no ice cream headache. <laughs> It's a big bite, it's a lot of ice cream. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? What's the review? What's the review? Two thumbs up. You saw it. <laughs> Smash All right. That like button. Smash that like button. You heard the, you heard the girl. <laughs> You're the cutest. Give me five. All right. I gotta have you on the show more often. Fist bump. 
<laughs> All right, enjoy your pie, sweetheart. I hope you guys love this. I hope it becomes a new favorite summer dessert for you. Let me know what you put into your galette and we'll see you on the next episode of Natasha's Kitchen. Say bye. Bye bye. I think you need to zoom out because I'm gonna measure this and you won't even see it on a vertical screen. Fish.